Today on Kojo's Organic Garden, I'm gonna show you guys how to install some olas. So an ola basically is an underwater watering system, self-watering system. So this, I put a little hole in the bottom of this glass bottle. Usually they use clay, but uh, I use glass because clay, when it gets like colder, even though it doesn't get cold as much in zone nine, which is uh, South Florida, uh, the cold makes the clay tend to break and crack. So glass, you know, when frozen, if you ever put glass inside of a freezer, it really doesn't freeze that well. So that's why I decided to use glass. And then I put a protector over it on the neck of the bottle where I pour the water in to protect it. So today we're going to be using some organic soil. So I'm gonna flip around the camera real quick. This is the organic soil that we're gonna be using. Um, and the rocks that we're gonna be using on the bottom of the hole that we're using in some compost as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these rocks and you know, here, and I use a little laundry basket to uh, put it in the ground because this is some uh, loamy soil, Florida, very acidic. So I wanted to um, use my own soil. So I use this laundry basket, put cardboard around. Um, the cardboard basically like a tree, so it's gonna absorb back into the ground. So what I do is I put a layer of rock on the bottom try to cover it up so it's nice after that they're good for a nice aeration so it allows for good air to get to the roots when they get there I'm gonna put sand there so the sands gonna maintain the moisture on the bottom of the pot self-made pot so I'm gonna put more of this sand inside of there nice little layer because I really want to make sure take some roots out if there's some roots I want to root some some other plants and one more layer, a nice layer of sand, and then I'll put my compost in my soil. So, it's a nice little layer. Then, over here, put some compost in there. Weather hole. The final thing I'm going to put is some nice soil. So a little compost right there. Walk over here to get some soil. This will be that final layer. So I'm going to get the, the ola that I had over right there. I'm going to sand it up. So tip over this bag. And load it through. there like that it's a nice little bit good now the final part is the ola so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig a hole inside the center of this pot and i'm going to squirt it pop it down right in see that's the ola with the hole in the bottom so that's what's going to get this stuff really good to the bottom so i'm going to take this out of my hands real quick and if i can show you how i do it but, Maybe. I know what to do. Start digging. So I'm going to get a nice little hole all the way to the bottom. So I touch the rocks, I'm going to go past sand and go past all these other different parts all the way to the bottom. You can see the sand right there. I can feel the rocks. So now I'm gonna get all the way. So I hit that bottom part. Okay, that's perfect. Now I'm gonna just plop it in. Then you have the hola right there. Hola. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And so now I'm gonna put the I have a tomato plant, I'm going to transplant, I'm going to transplant like right here. And I'll let you see that part before I turn this off. So I make a little hole for the tomato. Nice tomato, there you go. So that's going to be a nice little transplant. You're going to see it's kind of weird because it kind of grew out of there. The soil is really dry, but... 
get it out. Really don't want to injure it too much, but looks like it came out pretty well. So, as you can see right here, nice little root system. So, these buddies, you're really going to get that bottom of the oil out where the holes are. And you're going to be able to see that uh, it's going to make these plants nice and strong. I'll probably rip off some later and transplant to make more. Uh, but I'll wait till the plant gets a little bigger before I transplant the leaves. But right now I'm just going to put it inside the soil. Uh, they said sometimes like it's best for like a tomato plant to go sideways. So I'm just going to try that. I'm going to put this right here and bury that sideways. So it sits but like a little bit above. Maybe over here. And uh, allow for it to grow sideways. So I wanted you guys to see it sideways. And uh, put that up there. That's on top. There we go. Very nice. The leaves are a little covered, but I think that's okay. There we go. Nice. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over manually. Make this a little bigger. We dig the hole a little wider. It's because I want to get a different feel, feel for it. It says it's the first time you're burying it sideways. But then I've been researching that's really good for the tomato plant, so it's actually nice that it was growing that way in the pot. But yeah, there we go. Put it up some way and the leaves so the leaves can get some sun. Doesn't need to be buried that deep. But uh, put some soil around it to make it perk up. Put some of this around it. And voila, we have the ola. So thanks for watching uh, Kojo's Organic Garden. See you later.